Hey guys, Tracy Lynn, declutterandminutes.com. Today we are going to do a DIY video. I'm going to show you how to make these super cute upcycled gift tags that you can use to decorate your gifts this holiday season. So grab a chair, get a cup of coffee, and let's get started. Okay, the first thing you wanna do is gather your supplies. Now, you wanna to try to use as many things that you have on hand, so this is a low-cost DIY project. I like to gather up all those little bits of pieces I've collected over the years for my craft room and really get them in use rather than just sitting around taking up space. So, the first thing you wanna do is get some string any kind of string will work, even ribbon will work. This is for the end of your gift tags. I have this little pile of string that I've had laying around my house and then some green string that I'm going to use as well. Next is you're going to need gift tag cards. Now you can cut these out by hand or you can buy them. I happen to have a few left over from last year. These I just picked up at the local craft store. I think it was Michael's. They weren't very expensive. Um, it's important to make sure that there's a hole in them just to save you a little bit of time. But if not, you can punch a hole in with just a set of hole punchers. They also have um, scalloped edged ones that you can use as well. And they also come with their own string if you don't have any string on hand. So make sure you have plenty of um, brown, white, any color tags that you want to use for your packages. Next, you wanna make sure you have a good set of scissors and you also want a set of scalloped scissors. This is so you can cut more of a decorative edge on some of the pieces we're going to be using. Next, glue stick and tape. You can use regular tape, but I find this double-sided tape works really, really well, especially when you're doing a craft project embellishments these are an inexpensive way to um, liven up a maybe a little doll gift tag um, doll is in not shiny or fancy is what I mean by that so these um, you can also get at Walmart at a craft store and just a tip um, have a pair of tweezers as well because it's easier to get them off with a pair of tweezers and stick them on um, especially if you're a little bit older like me and you wear glasses. So these are a great tool to have when you're using embellishments, especially these really tiny ones like these. Yeah, tweezers make it a lot easier to use those. Okay, next up, have um, a few hole punches. These don't have to be fancy. These are, um, I think they're Creative Memories. Oh, Stampin' Up. These are Stampin' Up, but you don't have to have these expensive ones. You can have any kind. Um, they sell these, I think, at Michael's, and they have even more inexpensive ones. This is just a super fast way to cut out shapes for your gift tags that you can make them um, even a little more special and use up some of, those, some of those scrap papers that you might have around your craft room. Okay, for some of the gift tags, we are going to be applying material. So I got these at Walmart, you guys. They were not that expensive at all, just a couple dollars each. I think like $1.85 each, and some of these were, I think this one was like 97 cents, but some of these thicker ones were like $1.85. Make sure there's a print on them that is easy for you to cut out because we are going to be cutting these out and attaching an adhesive backing to them and then ironing them onto our gift tags. And it makes it look like you actually quilted the gift tag. It's one of those sneaky little tips that looks like you put so much time into it and it literally takes seconds. So then you're going to need your heat and bond. This again, I picked up at Walmart, just a couple dollars and you get a lot more than you need. You really only need, I don't know, about couple of size of construction paper sizes because a little goes a long way. So um, basically I got the ultra hold just because it is a gift tag and I want it to stick to that paper. Um, the same, I would get the same quality if you're um, applying it to an envelope or any kind of non-material surface. Then you need an ironing board and an iron and a few markers to do our faux stitching on the, around the material on the tags. Oh, one last thing. If you have leftover holiday cards from last year, like if you save them like I do, because some of them are so pretty you don't want to throw them away, sit yourself down in front of a Christmas movie with a pair of scissors and cut out the pictures on the front of those cards. First of all, 
You can use them on gift tags. And second of all, I am going to show you a super simple way to turn these into gift tags. All right, we have our supplies. We're ready to get started. Let's dive in. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is iron the adhesive onto the back of our material. So I've opened up our heat bond and you just want to cut off a small section. I like to keep the pieces relatively small because it's easier for me to work with. So I just go a square at a time. We're gonna cut that off. And I have one of those small little ironing boards just because it's easier for me to work. And let's open up our material. Okay. So basically what we're doing is we are going to make these little images on here ironable onto our gift tag. So we're going to need to find pieces that will fit onto the tag. So you wanna open it the entire way up. And the first thing we want to do is get some of these wrinkles out of here. So let's just put an iron over. This is why I like to work with these scrap pieces of material. It's a great way to use up supplies in your craft room without having to go and purchase anything. So these gift tags are a super simple craft that you can use up some of these items. Okay, so we are gonna do these two little gift packages right here. Now the key is to make sure that the material is bigger than the heat bond because if the material is smaller when you're attaching it, you'll get glue onto your ironing board. So you always want to make sure you have more material than you have um, items to iron onto. So we are going to try to do this without compromising this little snowman guy over here because I might want to use him for another project. Now, as you can see, the only thing I'm going to be able to use on here is this package and this package because this guy's half gone and so are these two trees. So we basically just want to use heat bond on these two packages right here. So let's round out those corners. It'll just make it easier for this to iron on. And you kind of have to mess with it a little bit. Use some of your, your eyeballing skills to get everything on there just right. And remember, you want to make sure that you are less than the material. So I am um, cutting it underneath. So now you can see that I'm a little bit closer, so let's cut some of that off and I'm still on. Okay, so now you can see I'm less than the material. You just wanna go around and cut off as much as you can, but yet still have enough for um, the adhesive to get to all parts of those pictures. Okay, so once we have that, there's on this material, there's a bumpy side and a smooth side. The bumpy side is the glue that is going to go onto the back of your material. Then what we'll do is peel off the paper and then iron this package right onto the gift tag and it will stick there. So make sure you have everything lined up. Nothing technical, you just wanna make sure that you've got adhesive where there is material. Okay, so once it's there, you're just gonna put your iron on and you're basically melting the glue so that it adheres to that material. So we're just going to go back and forth, hold it on a little bit, nice and slow, nice hot iron. And once that's done, then you can see it's on that material. Now that is really hot, so we're going to let that cool down just a bit. Now, while we're waiting, we can go ahead and do another one. And let's do a little bit bigger, give ourselves a little more leeway to work with. And this little guy right here, super cute. So we're gonna take him. I like to iron those wrinkles out first just because it gives me a better bond with my glue. And we are going to just cut him out. Remember, the, the more room you give yourself, the more, um, 
the easier it's going to be to put that clean bond on. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so we're going to cut another square. And this guy is pretty short and fat, so we don't need a lot. Just enough to cover him up. Okay. So again, you want to put this on the back, glue side down. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing we did on the other piece. Back and forth, nice and slow. Let the heat of that iron melt those little glue dots so that they stick to the material. You do not have to launder your material first because, of course, this is going on to a gift tag. So now we're going to let that cool. So this one is now cool enough to handle. So the first thing you want to do is cut out your two packages. Do it prior to pulling the paper off because this gives you a little bit of reinforcement and it's easier to cut. So we are going to just cut these out. Now this is something you can do while you're watching TV. Attach a whole bunch of glue to the back of your packages and then you can go ahead and... Um, Cut these out while you're watching a movie or something. But like I said, it looks like you spent so much time making these tags and they're super, super simple. I'm leaving just a little bit of a border on because I think I like the blue in the background. So there's one package done. And now we have the second little package. And I'm going to leave just a little bit of blue on this one as well because I like the look of it. Go around that little bow there. Okay, and there we go. So we have both of our little our little packages cut out. So the next thing you wanna do is remove the paper from the back. Now, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but it's shiny. See, that's the glue. So this again now is glue ready to be ironed on. So we're going to do the same thing on this one. It's a little bit tricky. Can you see the, the shiny on there? So you can see that that worked. So now we have two little packages ready to go onto a gift tag. So now we're going to grab our gift tag and we're going to put a package here and a package right there. You know what I think we're going to do? I think we're going to overlap these a little bit just because we need to make sure we have enough room to write to and from on there. So let's put the first package on first and you're going to iron this directly to the gift tag. You're not gonna hurt the gift tag. Just don't go super long when you're ironing because you will curl the paper of the tag. So we're just going to iron it on. Let that sit and cool. Doesn't have to be a very long time, but you can see how it's already curled. So you don't wanna go too long. You can put it the other way and iron again just to reinforce that package and to take some of the curl out. So now we have the first one on. We're gonna do the second one staggered right onto it. Heat it on, do the back side, and now that is stuck on there, just like that. Whoops, I'm sorry, just like that. Cute little gift tag. Okay, we're gonna let that cool, and while that's cooling, we're gonna cut out our little snowman. So let me just do this really quick. Now, this isn't gonna be super neat, guys, because um, we're a little bit pressed for time. So, I like to cut the bigger pieces off just because it's easier to cut the smaller pieces. And don't worry about his fragile little arms. They will glue down just as easily as the rest and they'll stick just like the rest. And you can really do this with any piece of material. I really like the material with the pictures on them. Um, I think they're a lot of fun. Just go around. Okay, now we're gonna get his scarf. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. I usually do the border first and then I'll go in and cut that. I will not cut that. There's no reason to. I mean, you're more than welcome to if you want, but I'm just gonna leave that on there. Okay, so now we're gonna go in. I am gonna cut the scarf. Okay, there we go. There's our little guy. So now we're going to pull off the adhesive from the back, or the paper from the adhesive, and there we go. We have our little guy. So let's grab um, 
Let's grab another one. I don't know if he's going to fit on here because he's kind of big. Yeah, he's a little big. So we are going to grab one of these fat ones. It'll give us a little bit more room to work with. Now, since the picture is so big, um, what I will probably do is um, put the to and from on the other side. So the picture can be on the front and the to and from can be on the back. Okay, so we've got him on there so he fits. Let's take our iron, just press that on, do the other side. And now we're going to let that cool. So now we have two cute little gift tags. Guys, look how cute those are. And they're literally taking seconds to do. Okay, next what we want to do is add a few embellishments just to make this pop a little bit. So I kind of have my, my little table here to make it easier to work on. Okay, so first what we want to do is maybe add a little bit of bling. And remember I told you, um, tweezers work so much better with these little things. So we are going to take one of these little pink guys. And there are adhe there's adhesive on the back. So we're going to put a little pink guy up there, a little pink guy down here, just to make it pop a little bit, like it's anchoring down the corners. Let's see, what else do we have? We have a nice little band of gold. I wonder if I can pull that off. No, nope, just one at a time, that's fine. So we're gonna put a little bit of more bling on. And there's no rules, guys. Oh, there's no sticky on that one. Some of these, if you pull too hard, you get it without the glue on the back. Okay, there we go. But once they're glued down, they tend to stay very, very well. Oops, that one's not be it. Let's grab this one. And I'm just putting a few little dots down just to make this pop a little bit. And it kind of gives a little glitter. Can you see that? Kind of gives a little glitter to it. Okay, on the bottom of this one, I thought it would be cute to put a little bit of ribbon. So this is just a scrap piece of ribbon that I have. I'm gonna put some of this adhesive tape on and just stick that down at the bottom. Make sure that overlaps on the back. Just cut that off. And that just puts a little bit of ribbon down at the bottom. Next, we need to do our stitching. So basically what we're going to do is add a little stitching so that this looks like we made it like it's a sewn piece of paper. It's kind of a fun way to add a little, um, a simple little addition to your tags to make them look um, a little more authentic. So basically what you're going to do is take a black, gray, red, blue, whatever color marker you want, and we are going to stitch around our packages. And it's just short little dashes all the way down. I wanna make sure you can see what I'm doing. So you're just mimicking sewing stitches along the border of your package. And see, now it looks like you sewn it right on there. Isn't that cute? Okay, so next we want to add our string. And like I said, you can use any string that you have. I'm just using some scrap string that I had left over. So I just want a piece that's probably about eight to 10 inches long. And then I'm gonna take two pieces of brown and one piece of the green. Okay, and then what you do is you fold it in half so it's even, so you have this little loop. We're going to put all of the string through the hole and then feed this through. So you're coming back through that hole you just made, just looping it through. And there you go. How cute is that? So now you can put your to and from at the top. You could put it on the back, however it is you wanna do it. We're gonna do our to and from on the top. I really need to get more markers up here, you guys. So we're gonna do blue again. So we're gonna do T-O and then our from down here. And then just put a couple little dots on to give it a little fun. And you just put little dots on the corner of your letters. And there you go. 
there's gift tag number one. And it just took us a few minutes, super simple, and it's a great way to use up leftover material and ribbon. Okay, so now we have gift tag number two. And we're gonna do our stitching first since I already have my marker open. So again, I'm just gonna go around all the way around the picture. And don't worry if some of your stitches are bigger than others because that's how it is in sewing, right? Some are bigger than others. Now, if you would rather do the border of the tag, you could do that as well. But for this DIY, we are just doing our little snowman. Get all the way around his scarf. Okay, so now we did our stitching. He stitched the whole way around. And this time we're gonna add some snowflakes. Now, I don't even know where I got these. I had them in my craft room. I just found them. Thought it would be a fun thing for me to use up. So we're gonna put a couple snowflakes um, on here just to give it a little bit of pizzazz. And just to show you something different as far as what you can do and what you can use. Oh, let's see, here's a big one. I don't know if he'll fit, but yeah, he will fit. Okay, so let's just set these over here. All right, for this, I'm going to use the glue stick. You'd be surprised how well glue sticks work in a crafting project. So we're going to take our glue stick, and you want to get a nice thick chunk. See that? I have a nice thick chunk of glue on there. We're going to put that right there. And then we're going to do the same. Get a nice big thick chunk. And it'll dry clear so you don't have to worry about purple mess on here. I like to use the purple because it's easier for me to see it. So I know when I have enough on. And of course now I glue my fingers. Okay, and I think we're going to just put one more on because you can never have too much bling. Okay. And then just for a little bit more, we're going to put some of these golden pieces in the middle just to make them pop a little bit more. Now those are gonna take a minute to dry. So you wanna give them time to dry before you pick them up and toss them in the pile, the finished pile. So give them time to adhere to the paper. But there, that just gives it a little bit more pop on the snowflakes and now we're gonna do our string and let's do something a little different I'm gonna grab some ribbon and this could be um, any kind of ribbon that you have if you have cloth ribbon if you have um, shiny ribbon we're going to do the same thing we did with the last one cut a strip and then loop it through so this is cloth ribbon that I had and we're gonna make our little loop and again you're gonna have to be careful because those snowflakes aren't going to be dry yet because it's the only thing bad about glue sticks. They take a little bit of time to dry, but we're going to loop it through. And there you go. And you could put the two from right on the back. And there you go, guys. Super quick, super simple gift tag that you can add to a package that literally took no time at all to make. Okay, two gift tags done. Guys, how great is that? All right, so the next thing I wanna show you before we call it a day is I want to show you what to do with those cards that um, we cut out from last year for the holiday. So here I have some of these cards. I cut out the pretty pictures on the front and sure, you can cut them down and put them um, onto a gift tag. Of course, you would have to make it small enough to fit onto the gift tag, which we could easily do. That's no problem whatsoever, but this is, this is a super simple gift tag option that anybody can do, requires no skill whatsoever. So basically, you take your scissors and you're gonna cut around. And we, I like to do the scallop edges because I think it just makes everything look um, a little bit nicer. So these are just scallop scissors I got at the craft store. Now every time you cut, you kinda of have to reline things up so that your scallops are, are good and even. And don't worry about them being straight. We're not too worried about that. It's just a gift tag. 
And we're going to cut that the whole way around. Sometimes it's easier if you bend it. See how I'm doing that? And this guy is just a little bit crooked. Okay, just like that. I guess we are going to do the bottom, just to make it all the same. Just make sure you line up your pieces. Okay, so there we go. We've got this cute little um, snowman from a holiday card that I had from last year. So then when, what you want to do is take your hole punch, and you are just going to punch a hole right in the corner, just like that. And again, we're going to get some ribbon. And let me get, and the, the fun thing is the more ribbon that you put in, the, the prettier you can make things look. And this time we're going to use paper ribbon. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Okay, this is just paper ribbon that you can curl with your scissors. So we're going to do the same thing. Take it in half. Make it so it will fit through the hole you just punched. Put it through the hole. Open that hole up. Now since it's paper, it's folded, so you kind of have to work it through. Give yourself enough room, because you can always feed it back down. Feed it through. And you kind of have to work a little bit harder on the paper but there we go. Okay, so there's our gift tag. These, um, these ribbons is what you use to attach it to your package. And then on the back, you can use your marker to do your to and from. And do your little dots here to spice it up just a little bit. So there's your to and from on the back. Here's your tag on the front, and there you go, gift tag. You just recycled a holiday card from last year. And again, this is something that you could do while you're watching TV so that you're not, you know, so you're you're multitasking, doing more thing that more more than one thing at the time and still having a good time doing it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was our first ever um, Declutter in Minutes DIY. And I hope you found that inspirational and helpful. And now you can go make gift tags of your own to put on your holiday packages this year. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time. Take care.